But here we are. Divine DFP in the blue. With the Mongols. Ha! I stole the intro from you. You can do the second one. This time. You're lucky I had that as the first uh, person. <laughs> On the other side, <laughs> we've got Symptom in the purple. English, we just spoke about them. Uh, that's that's <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> but these are the good English. When everything was still happy, they still hated the French. Life was simple. <laughs> You just were a farmer, you tended to your field, you did a little bit of archery to get out of church on Sundays. Killed some Frenchmen on your summer holiday. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you get back, you settled in Normandy because that was English. And then you at some point got kicked out by your French landlord. Go everywhere, do Once everything. Regain control of your contract. And then got, life got complicated. Got the early over. Um, I'm thinking, given what this map is, it's very likely to see some kind of rush like we've seen in the other game by Divine. Uh, pretty standard, standard strat. The English might be able to just do something over here. Like if they're, uh, if, if they had a tower here, that would be mighty fine, I think. But it's not the easiest thing to a uh, stable. Yeah, I was about to point that out as well. We've Hello got a stable coming there. up. Early horse. It seems to have been maybe a choice after he scouted it out and didn't see anyone. Oh no, we have to dock up. Never mind. Sorry. The yeah. purple really doesn't translate well to be spotted on the map on the coast there. It's really hard to see that dock there, in my opinion, on the minimap. Yeah, if you're light blue, it's even worse. Um, that that's just cloaking on water. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth ships. The Mong, the, the famous Mongol U-boats, coming to radio convoys. Ooh, there's a lot of sheep in the middle. Oh my God! Look at the amount of sheep on the sacred site. That scout just oh. seconds ago. Oh, no sheep following him. <laughs> Twelve sheep. That just cheaper in the dozen. Jesus Christ! I'm Holy losing sheep. words for how many sheep that was. That's gonna be wool coats for days, my boy. Holy sheeps indeed. Sheeples! Hey, we've got Vanguard men at arms. Do you think he'll make like free and go for that gold mine? Seems like a very legit play to me. Yeah. Should be good against the. Well, the horsemen do okay against them, against the early ones as we've seen earlier. So maybe that is one of the reasons we see the stable early. Um, oh, the they, they're gonna trade a little bit better, I guess, than the, 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 the spearmen into those early men at arms. Yeah, but they themselves are early horsemen, so you know a lot of stats sacrificed That's here. True. It's a lot closer matchup than the other ones. True enough. I always I always appreciate how the English early men at arms kind of look like dwarf course players. <laughs> it's a little. Yeah, you gotta kind of zoom in to see the real scale. It's uh, to pets. They look funny from the top. Your wife looks funny from the top. What? Sorry. <laughs> go oh. there. Where did that come from? <laughs> no, what is that? <laughs> I have never met his wife, for the record. <laughs> I am assuming she's a lovely lady. Sometimes. Now I have to Don't question her. <laughs> now you should better look at her from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Got me again. Just to verify that I'm talking bollocks. But I might be talking the truth by accident. She needs a new hat. I think that's what we're that's what we're saying here. Alright, so there's hats. a little bit of funky footwork going what? on here. But the horsemen do get a nice surround here. At the early men at arms really don't seem to do that hot against those early boys. They both have 100 HP. Yeah. The early men at arms do have a little bit of melee armor. Three in total. So, the, But uh, 
to Vanguard Man at Arms today, basically it's it's seven versus nine damage. Uh, sorry, seven versus four damage. So the early Man at Arms should come out on top. Yeah, it's all about but that it's... pullback micro and the additional reinforcements. Like the numbers of the early horsemen are just better right now. Um, yeah. With that, they could win, but it's gonna take a moment. Resource-wise, they're both 120, but of course the Vanguard Man Dumps do cost a little bit of gold. Oh, that's a very funny location for the Mongol Dog there. I'm a little surprised by oh. this. Aggressive dog team. Very aggressive docking. Yeah, here they come, but really good uh, splitting up from Divine. None of his VQ units are getting targeted, and that might be... Uh, the biggest problem for Symptom thus far, because now he's gonna uh, just have so, so many horsemen to deal with. And their yeah. DPS is just not gone. And this is one hallmark of these classic RTSs. Even a unit on one HP can still do full damage and hurt you in ways that you never could imagine. But for the time being, it looks like the chats at arms. I've managed to... Oh, never mind. Managed to get themselves surrounded. Rather than linking up with their friends. Yeah, that's many friends indeed. Best friends ever. And uh, <laughs> some of these horsemen are still seriously low HP. I don't think they can, you can micro against that sufficiently. Otherwise, you just have to abandon the position. Which might be the best play. But it's a little too late for that. These horsemen have almost zero value now. They live together and they die together. Outpost is desperately been put down, but in a, I mean a gold, in the gold position, he can move away and pack up his little stable if he chooses to do so. Yeah, the bad but news for Simtom is there is, uh, well actually he's he's closer to H2 than I thought. I didn't notice the. Uh, Council Hall down there, but it's there. Yeah, Council Hall is indeed, I think, no, okay, not done. I just heard another age up, but I don't see it yet. Oh, there it is. Deer Stones coming up for the Mongols. Yeah, in a pretty secure How the trade location. posts on this map? Okay, the trade posts are pretty in the middle, so they're not, they're not super enticing. Yeah, it's these the water game. ones that are more interesting anyway on this map. Yeah. If you can control the water, you can control a massive trade there. And he who controls the spice controls the universe. Alright, good old Uvu says boohoo because there's a lot of men at arms burning it down. I like how this, the, the pile of rocks crumbles apart. And like a very, like it's made out of concrete. It's a very odd image. It's like if, if, if a house of cards would crumble down by the cards splitting apart rather than falling <laughs> together. <laughs> well, pretty good value be... here for Symptom. Those like early it's... men at arms getting a lot of value. Yeah, and it's still that, so it's just more men at arms get, getting pumped. Uh, none of that longbow nonsense. The sword is mightier than the bow today. And yeah, we're not even yeah, we're not even producing any long bows. It's just straight up chats at arms. Doesn't look like they'll be able to take down the tower, so the repair is just a little bit too strong. There's a little bit too many arrows as well happening. And I think the can should be able to just pop into one of these and be Ooh, fine with that. There we go. Oh, and the two horsemen too. Awesome. Khan's just trying to bait them and it would that work like a charm. That was pretty nicely done. By the vine. How's the water situation? We've kind of been lacking that. So Symptom has put out a galley. And is putting a lot of pressure on the Mongol navy. Oh my goodness, 12 fishing ships already. And yeah, the galley yep, is very is... nice. That's hard to deal with for the Mongols, actually. There's only two oh. fishing boats left for the Mongols that are hiding in the dock. 
Oh, Simtom is to resign. Get his win. Awesome. Beautiful. Well done. Nice. Two very, very quick games today. Very aggressive. I like it. Yeah, it's all about this Energy. military charge, really. Like, Divine just lost too many units. The end. Yeah. Sword boys sticking it out. Game two of the semifinals. Good luck telling apart the colors in this one. Divine DFP is going to be playing as the Roos. And on the lower side, we have Turquoise Mongols played by his GG dot Sim Tom. Of all people, it had to be him. GG. Because he made it all the way to the semifinals. That's why he's here. And that's why we are here as well. Wait, did he forget to kill these animals? What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. He's trying to get the second shot against the animals, I guess. Uh, seeing as the scouts already here, the girls moving up because the animals are getting killed anyway. Might as well. I think I think the problem is that the Khan. I don't think they ever fixed that. That I don't think he does the same damage as other scouts against deer, right? So he needs. Uh, he can't two shot them, so he can't really deny it. I think. I believe it's the same, but they have a different weapon against all the different things. It's such hidden information in AOE four. Um, so it took yeah. me a while to learn all this as well. Um, I I still right. don't know if, many of these. I'm sure chat things. will know, so they can let us know if that's still the case or if that got patched out. Yeah, so like let's I'm not say on that. there was a strat at one point where you went over with your veils to your enemy and because the bonk weapon on the villagers has more attack than the torch that was bugged at some point that it carried over and you could you could destroy buildings quickly but, but definitely <laughs> Stab the building. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Divine. Uh, hang on. Yeah, Divine is pretty happy about the double deer that he found next to each other up here. Oh, that that rolled off the tongue nicely. I, lo I loved it. Wait, I think you are you were correct. I'm so sorry. Ha! The cow actually does two damage to the animals. I am smart. Yes, it's confirmed. But uh, on the plus side, he did manage to pump out uh, two ha happy little scouts, so he gets a little bit of denial in. <laughs> Please, I live in denial. <laughs> That's my job. The, the the color situation is made even better that the Mongols are blue, but divine isn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get everything wrong here, but. At least I got the scouts right, so I'm a happy badger. Speaking of scouts, Divine does manage to drag two of the bounty infantry and another one back to the town center. So the bounty is coming in pretty hot, almost at 250. Meanwhile, Symptom finds out that all of these, like, whenever you have like this, these big double patches of deer carcasses, I always have to remember like the old pictures of like the like dancing with the wolves and like the old uh, western pictures of like these huge swaths of bison on the prairie just all massacred and uh, stripped down and skinned that's what that reminds me of the good old times when we eradicated millions of buffalo <laughs> to bully some natives and make some money on the side On that light note, that's what happened. Let's see. Let's see them humans slaughter each other here, because that's more fair. <laughs> uh, question in chat: Is this public update? No, nope. it's just live. Just the current patch. Yep. As there's, there's a tournaments for the money, I think at the moment it would be, even though it is tempting. It would be unfair to our competitors to try and force them to play on a new patch that's probably pretty buggy and unbalanced. 
But I think we all can look forward to the new Sifs when they finally arrive next month. TM. Yeah, of course we'll allow them uh, when they are live. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll stay on this patch forever. This is AOE4 and it's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Never change. I had some scout on scout violence here. Uh, the God damn it. Symptom got ahead there. These colors are gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> Especially because the Mongols aren't blue. It's just, ah, uh, why? It all looks the same to me. They're all Chinese to me. <laughs> Symptom really co committing to the scouts at the moment. Looks like he's been he's been double pumping them from his stables there. Chat's taking copious amount of copium at the moment and uh, predicting AOM definitive edition. Uh, I mean, don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, pain. <laughs> pain. There is no relief, my friend. Only pain. Hey, at least you don't get like some of your favorite uh, childhood games ruined by remakes. Because hey. someone saw a money grab and then completely fails to relive what made the original so special. Yeah, I mean, that, that's I, I still hope happens. the gothic remake is gonna come out okay, but I haven't. I, I remain unconvinced at the moment. I guess that is something to be found out as well, right? Indeed. In short, we humans were never happy. Never. And we're so angry, especially these Mongol guys, that they just go around torching mining camps like some rude fellas. Sounds like terrorism to me. Is that what RTS games have become or always were? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's deep thoughts. These are today. Mongols. Terrorism and tourism is the same thing for them. It's just a title. <laughs> <laughs> Visit new and interesting places and burn them to the ground. <laughs> wow. It's the modus operandi for our little horse boys. Speaking of horse boys, the Russian horse boys are trying to torch the Uvu. But other horse boys are showing up to shank them in the back. This is such That's a, a lot of scouts. scout thing. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> this is insane. Do you like peasants on horses to stab each other for money? Welcome to Meta Plays AOE 4 Season 2. <laughs> well. Hey, one knight, one chat that. knight chasing off 15 horsemen. He's just that chat like. Just hashtag like no the infantry other. gameplay. Every At this point, chase. they should just give all the villagers horses here. <laughs> just to make, just, just to make it proper. <laughs> no, racing car TC is moving around with the scouts garrisoning into it so that there's no cost to villagers. This is a creeping build, Matt Hat. They're going to the other side. Slow and steady like. Yeah, let's see if the town center does arrive at this a destination where it can do wreck some havoc. They're really going for it. Oh my goodness. Sim Tom, you absolute Giga Chad. Or Meme Lord, uh, depending on people's point of view. Looks like the knights are fully surrounded. I'm trying to go after the town center. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that one can't deploy itself, but now it's an actual racing car. It's gone a little bit faster. I think it's got the upgrade. <laughs> 1.12. <laughs> I think it just got Does the it? con speed, actually. Yeah, that was just the con speed. Right. Uh, actually, it, it, it has the upgrade as well. Good, good, good. Another? Why not? Double race car better than one race car. Three is bigger than two. It is known. 
It's known indeed. Oh, this even happening in this video game. Oh my god. Meanwhile, throat of course... singing intensifies. That is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Divine DFP, of course, just macroing up and playing completely normal with uh, triple night spam, by the way. And behind that is going to be a blacksmith. Triple night versus triple TC. <laughs> But so far, the knights have been keeping those TCs at bay. Hey guys, is this banned in any current tournament format? Because uh, I, I'm i actually not certain, but I have not seen this in forever. Is this just a very special thing that is actually allowed? Because we don't ban it right now. Uh, that, that much we know. Yep, the only proper ban we have is no uh, stone walls in H2. Other than that, it's just no exploits. Yes, because we like to finish tournaments in one day. <laughs> Not have to <laughs> reschedule every single time we make one. Um, so, yeah, no stone walls in H2. It's the buddy system. You always stay, have one TC close to his buddy TC. Mm hmm, it's. Creeping up on, on Divine, but there's so many knights here. I'm starting to think they can actually break a TC, my tat. Have you ever had a building sneak up on you? <laughs> I guess that's what we're witnessing. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> One day you wake up and then suddenly there's like a tent city around you and you're like, what the fuck? Get off my lawn! <laughs> Okay, but can they get any closer than this? I, I don't think that Divine is going to allow that. Then again, he would have to do it. It's also a such spirit. a huge investment, and he's like not really getting a return. Like, he's not producing villagers out of that stuff. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, thousands of resources here, by the way. What is it getting done? You essentially have to just have to imagine them as like big siege engines at this point. They're basically like mobile siege towers that can shoot. Okay, so we're gonna get, have a few villager kills. Actually, they're just tanking it. Wow. Alright, let's see Divine DFE's knight count. That's what really matters here. 16 knights. Uh, tells them to convert itself and drives away. It's been nice. Oh, the knights just absolutely slaughtering our Mongol boys. Yeah, 14 of them left, by the way, here. And the vehicles and aren't getting picked more... off. The targeting isn't there. More to come as well. That is one TC down, and, you know, just one to go with not many units around from Simtom. I think the meme is going to stay a dream this time around. Chad Knights just duking it out here. Sometimes all you need is force. Yep, -da -da -da. Yes, so use the force. That's it. Just ram it down mid. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's just more and more knights coming. Look at that score difference. It's up by almost 300. <laughs> it's over 300! And speaking of other differences, Eco 57 for Divine and 47 for Symptom after three TCs. Oh, this is brutal. The one knight just tagging this town center. I don't think it will be able to get away from it. Burning down as it moves. Got some spearmen trying to chase it. Oh, the knight stops. Oh, the back are on the case. Repair. Oh my goodness. You think they're gonna get it? Oh! It doesn't actually burn in the unpacking process? What? I just learned that. Okay. How is that a you, thing? You learn every day? I do, apparently. Oh, 
Well, Symptom is in some serious trouble, boss. Yeah, but I mean, explicating that TC mitigates the damage somewhat, and he's getting some knights down, I suppose. But not enough to make it matter. So that TC should go down again. I think um, I think he's gonna get like two or three more knights here. Well, the knights yeah, are getting turn absolutely printed out here. Keep coming over, keep killing villagers now. Symptom is losing oh. so many wool. Yeah, I was about to say, just go into the villagers and that's exactly what he's doing. That is 67 to 40. Uh, and it's not it's not gonna stop there. Divine is actually going to H3 now. He can stop making nice for a sec. And honestly yeah, oh. just chill. Guess what we're gonna get? Another town center for Symptom. No. Another if it's two. Broken, Another two town them. centers. Now there are three of them. It's getting out of hand. So that's his fourth town center in this game. Is the Who needs units when it's town planet? centers? Sorry, what were you saying? There, there is no step. Only town centers. Right. Well, anyways, Divine is going to be going for the Warrior Monks, picking up the Relics in the middle. It's pretty easily accessible. Uh, at least four of them are easy. The fifth one, quite far away. But he's got so much map control, he might as well just make all the all the Monks, really. Yeah. Turning the Mongol C into the TC. This is what Symptom is role-playing here. Yeah? I like how the music just like simmered down now. Decided to. Uh, I'm done. The town what? centers aren't being attacked, so it's not I'm, a real game. Dude, I'm getting the intense roost music here. Oh, really, still? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's because. Oh, hold on. I've actually got like the playlist. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I lied. <laughs> <laughs> got him. He lied to me, chat. Can't even rely on my own co caster. Wait, maybe I'm the co-caster. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's I have a... an existential crisis, while Symptom is going to question his life choices of just building TCs until the sun don't shine. <laughs> nice shower thoughts today, by the way. I just don't see a future for Symptom. I mean, okay, he can maybe pump the villas, but he, he's got... How can I say this nicely? He's got 35 idols. That is completely bonkers. It's almost his entire economy. He Eight villagers are working. That's it. Fairly freaking fracked. Yeah. To say it like the Battlestar Galactica nerd I am. Hey, look at all the villagers popping out of those TCs. Yay. Yes. Back to work, you lazy farmers. Go we got some sheep to slaughter. Got some taxes to generate. And the, 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 Mongol, the Mongols, they don't make do taxes. They, they take other people's taxes. <laughs> True. It's called a tribute. Maybe you're just too weak to not understand what a tribute is. <laughs> you never had anyone pay it to you. <laughs> what a big L. <laughs> ah, he's getting some knights now. Killed off. But uh, yeah, the, the relics are being collected. 43 villagers left for Symptom. Meanwhile, Divine is happily sitting on 80. Plus relics that are presently delivered. Oh back yeah, to the he's, of the Trinity. he's going insane right now. The wooden fortresses are getting built in the face of the villagers, and yeah, I mean they're gonna siege it down, but at what cost? So many will die. Oh, the repair actually can hold. The repairs are so good in this game, dude. Yep, but I think unupgraded the uh, wooden fortress doesn't shoot from by his own, right? Yeah. No, no, that was upgraded. Uh, it has. Uh, arrow slits, I think. 
Indeed. Sorry, not arrows. That's they had the other thing. Uh, ballista. Ballista. Springald. Yeah, that's it. Springald. And I believe that's the equalizer. Excellent. Keep it so, divine DFP. Switching over to the good old English. Very nice. And then we have Symptom coming in with Rus. With which he... Oh, God damn it! I keep mixing these boys up. Did he just win with them? Or was it Divine that won uh, with That him? was Divine. Uh, Symptom divine. was okay. the TC rushing oh. Mongol. <laughs> Apologies. One of the many things I do not have is long-term memory and short-term memory. And also short-term memory. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. But I do occasionally try to make up for it with a little bit of wit and a little bit of random game knowledge that just keeps popping up in my head like a literal pop-up head. Just like, hey, did you know that the Khan only does two damage to deer? And then I have to defend myself against like a co-caster who insists that it does perfectly fine damage only to find out that I was right in the end all along but I'm not I wasn't confident enough because of my memory issues to confront him about it nice and anyway now we're here <laughs> well at least we spotted it so <laughs> it's all goodman let's see how how how's our 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 bounty system Coming along here, 75, not too bad. We've got two bitey boys on their heels. And the map seems to be always spawning one side with like a favorable defensive wood line. So today it's on Symptom's side. Yeah, Which so this should makes be, it pretty happy. once again, kind of wallable, right? Yeah. So it's looking like to me. So uh, if, if you can wall, then English may be not quite as scary uh, as it could be in other cases. You know, you, you get to mass knights, you might be able to do quite a bit of work, but again, it's English, so are we gonna see some kind of town center build from them? Maybe. In which case you have the golden golden gate to help keep up. Black and yeah. fan just subscribed. Good to see you, buddy. How's it going? And thank you very much. Thank you very much, India. Sorry, that one was awful. I might apologize later for it, but not quite yet. Don't do it. All right, we're almost at... Oh, no, never mind. It's uh, 250 for the next tier of the bounty system. Our little hunter is doing his little best. Let's see. The relics are relatively even. It's like not awful, but slightly better for symptom, which should make him happy. Do the bonk. Bonk the sheep. Just need 10 more. Re the sheepies. The gold situation for Symptom could be a problem. He's got like one gold main and gold main, one gold main vein, versus the rest is pretty spread out. And uh, Divine has two relatively close to space, and then a really nice gold cluster up north with the boar and the relic as well. So Symptom more defensively, but a Divine, I would say, more economically viable in the long term. But we'll see how it plays out. As we saw earlier today, all it needs is a couple good walls. And some good game sense to really box someone in on this one. And the sheep has been bonked. We have 250 bounty for the rules. Yeah, very good. Now, I wonder what will happen next. So, there's 200 gold plus uh, almost 400 wood. So, this should be a TC build, absolutely. Uh, probably a good idea to get some kind of more forward location that you can uh, help defend your resources with. Yeah, just the gold sec secured. That's nice. I yeah. like that. And Symptom just bought, with his golden lottery tickets, 300 stone to plop down the town center on this lovely gold vein. Very good, and, uh, very good. Wood line, nice and defensive. 
Well, he's going to be a very happy badger. It's for the Ang English. We we're having that situation now where they're actually making use of the deer. However, the drop off distance is significant from this mill. The mill has been pre-placed to be efficient for farms, not for the hunt. So I'm curious where that is going to go. Also, second TC for uh, for English is going to be miles away from now. Um, although the workers are starting to uh, get on it. No. Oh, okay. They are starting to indeed collect some stone. For a second, I thought I was going to be like single t TC into like just a Castle HT Berkshire Palace. Oh, no, wait. That's yeah. No, that's Castle H. As the backup plan, but no, looks like an eco build. Which probably means Simtom is gonna arrive just just because of the power of the Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate Bridge, yeah, thanks, thanks, Brain. Uh, just get that town sent out earlier, etc. It's a nice eco boost for him. Versus if you go for the council, all is the Englishman, you if you if you ignore it, you kinda just lose out value. But if you can huddle behind your walls, you might get away with it. It's the exact same setup though, like front TC, uh, trying to secure your gold and then macro away. It doesn't seem to me like anyone is trying to attack anything. The villagers will no. be costly enough to maintain from two TCs for now. So uh, Divine is trying to get 10 plus 12 villagers on, on food. That should be it just about. Yeah, I would argue that probably oh. Symptom is looking for a castle age. Timing versus if Divine can get away with it, I think he wants to go all the way up to Imperial to set up a farm economy if he's left alone for long enough and then just run off, run away with that. That might happen, but Symptom is getting a third TC first. Ooh, so that's interesting. it might still be just, you know, for the full castle skip. Uh, and it probably should be, to be honest. Yeah. It gives you I, much like, better chance I, I still Thumbles. think it's Symptom is gonna go aggressive in Castle because it's just such a good power spike because you get the, the monks and then you, ha you have your third TC here and then you can just really pump out a lot with that setup. Holy crap, we got the walls coming in, Matt Hat. The fortified palisade walls are going to be made on the corners, which means English will be cut off gold. They're just gonna have this front gold vein and maybe the back one if uh, if Symptom can't be sneaky about it, we no. shall see how that goes. But this is pretty cool. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty popular strategy and especially potent. Oh, yeah. But the question is, will Divine do a little bit better job of paying attention earlier to them? Breaking out, making sure he doesn't lose access to the vital resources that he needs. Because especially like in Alaska, in the first game that we saw with that, is we only had one access to one gold mine in the main, which really crippled the Abyssid. That is a and super this... forward blacksmith. What is going on here with Divine? Is he trying to telegraph information that he's gonna uh, get the siege thing? Or just fake Maybe. some H2 play? Definitely potentially. Because when you go free TC, you're definitely worried about rams. But maybe not. I don't know. Um, I guess longbow and ram, definitely worried. Uh, which is why you'd want knights. No. Yeah. So the vine is getting just this unit upgrade. Nothing too fancy there. So it hasn't like, even pumped out any units yet. Okay. So nothing fake. It's just for actual uh, strategies. Which means that... For now, he's pumping the units and he's getting a second barrack. So he's pretty damn serious about what he's trying to accomplish here. No. Also, like, Symptom has, like, no military production whatsoever. Yeah. He it literally looks... only has a scout out. It really looks like it will stay that way. Symptom currently on 50 villagers, by the way, to find on 39. So very nice little advantage that he built with the earlier TCs. Two of them, yeah. in fact, were earlier, so... He's just booming harder than a bomb at Hiroshima. It's like... Full commitment, what's a... No regrets. <laughs> at least not until it's settled in. Because the English are coming! And 
And they most likely won't take any prisoners. He's even gonna get the outpost up for his lovely network of castles. Yeah, so there's only gonna keep... be the Abbey of the Trinity and absolutely nothing to train units from. Is Simpson just going to collapse and roll over here? I don't see how he's not. The upgrade is done so that the infantry can build the uh, ramps anytime they have the wood. If I actually has the wood, they only need 250 uh, at the moment in this current patch. Yeah, it's not looking hot. Yeah, and these CCs are not that strong. So 2,500 hit points compared to the uh, 7k of the main TC. I mean, the Bar only good, good thing down. is that the only good thing for Symptom is that the vine can only pump out from two barracks at the moment. And his little council hall there doesn't have the economy for anything more as of yet. He just goes full warrior monk, just get 50 of them. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious, not gonna lie, but anyway, these longbowmen, one is gonna go down right away. Actually, here's a question. Does the attack buff from the warrior monk buff villagers? A great it, question. Or is it just military units? Because that would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> just have super stabby villagers. Does it buff the torch attacks? Good questions. Let's see if we can find those out. Maybe chat can assist us. We need answers! Unfortunately, only play this game semi-casually, so... <laughs> Some details get lost in there. I like Which... that chill house at the front. No fear. I was gonna make a political joke there, but I'm not gonna go that far. Let's see. Villagers are good at the torching business. Longbowmen are good at anti-torching business. Man, like, whose villagers in hat always look like a, like a big Santa Claus convention. <laughs> yeah, and with Christmas their torches, they just early, boys. look like they have, like, one of those, uh... Oh! Oh, sh the villagers do get buffed up, and the torch damage does get buffed up by two. Wow. Very nice. That's that's a third DPS increase. That's pretty impressive. So the men at arms are what? coming out, and in the, in yeah. their numbers they're looking pretty decent. It's just that early men at arms are going to be able to match it together with the craft of longbowmen. So trouble city again. Yeah, there's a little bit late to the party. The longbow mass. Should be able to handle them for the moment. Symptom has 69 and... <laughs> villagers, which is nice. Divine. I like how the scout just gets 60. completely ignored. Just oh, yeah. Spotted all of that. <laughs> I guess he just wants to force some kind of reaction in the back. The problem is that also leaves like his wood line exposed. Yeah, villagers will not be able to manage this. The That's the thing with villagers, they're only there. scary if they can get you in melee. It brought a knife to a bow fight, and it's not paying off for them. Oh my, there's four ramps now, Matt Hat. The other TC is not going to be safe. Pretty sure the Abbey of the Trinity is not going to be safe either. No. I mean, uh, the, the men at arms are doing their best. The longbows have been pulled back two ways to deal with them. So that's something, I guess. But as you pointed out, the Rampage <laughs> is on its way. Rampage. I get it. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but okay, the Man at Arms, there's like no protection for those Rampages. Because the, the Longbowmen are at home. So the glorious sacrifice by these little Sons of Boya has paid off. Oh, nice mango! No, man, they really got nerfed, didn't they? Oh yeah. 
still still doing it. Like compared, like they're they're still okay. Okay, that was good. But they're not as crazy scary as they used to be. Now you need like four to be really scary, which is just immeasurably expensive. But he is getting some good value out of it. It's really nicely done there. By the nope, symptom. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to keep up. Life is hard, and we've had an entire work week behind us. We're trying, guys. We're trying, but this is not our most energetic moments. One of those players that has chosen to participate in these tournaments is currently doing a nice play. There you go. <laughs> That's about as vague as I could make it. <laughs> I'm gonna be like a BBC presenter. I'm gonna say a lot of words that ultimately don't really mean anything. Yes. That is such a trend here. It makes people take you more seriously for whatever reason. I don't know how that works. Exactly. But and then I, and then I go for the, the, the BBC accent. That isn't even a real accent. Not anymore, it's not. I'm trying to think how it goes to get it right. <laughs> I'm scared to attempt it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Symptom <laughs> is going for the boar. Oh, he's... Oh, never mind. I thought he was closer. So, uh, still just on tier 2 bounty. Seriously? You're right. I, I, but here we see the man at arms in the natural habitat going to slaughter us, the usual prey, the helpless villagers. Dude, those but the English mangoes, porcupine though. takes a front and gives them some needles in the back. Oh, the mangoes are being chased by peasants! Yeah, how they is can't this run away out? fast enough. But they're gonna pay for themselves like many times over there. The bills are generating value. Oh, it turns around! Oh my goodness, Hashtag this might be our moment. Not. Just split. Just split. Wear pog moments, please. Oh my god, are the villagers, are the villagers coming out on top of these men at arms? No. Now they, they can run faster than they should, so... Uh, the men at arms can't keep up, and this white tower will be holding. It's, it's always like some men at arms, like, um, sometimes doing a really good job, just having always something in that eco. It's like, oh, the men at arms are coming in from the right side. I completely missed that. My apologies. Quadruple barracks on the right corner, just pumping out singular boys into the economy of uh, Divine. The lemming train of, of deception has activated. That is some giga chat business, not gonna lie. I love these little side builds. This is such an uh, Age of Mythology thing that Symptom is bringing over. We do that all the time in that game, but the AoE 4 players don't seem to be utilizing this too much. So, uh, you know, shout out to the AOM crew. Keep doing the, these things. Yeah, Surprise the AoE 4 players. It's not just a blob in your base necessarily. It is rather beautiful. Meanwhile, the White Tower did go up and pulling out some nasty firepower, so no more shenanigans from the front, at least, for a symptom. But yeah, the, the, the longbow blob is still chasing down the singular man at arms. It is pretty costly for Divine. Sorry, no, symptom. Yeah. <laughs> but it may or may not have paid off for him. Let's, let's compare economy. So Symptom is 106 uh, villagers, 32 military, versus Divine is stuck on 65 and 25 military. Yeah, that's a problem. These knights that are out now are going to be very nice in building back the value. And I also really like the palisades that he's quickly trying to build. Uh, so hopefully that pays off. Now they have to walk the other way around or bust through the wall, which takes time, but... Yeah, the knights are the value generator, especially if they can run down the mangonels. That's really the play that they're looking for. Yeah. That said... Oh, the man at arms need to turn around there. There we go. Yeah, look at the symptom. has three relics minimum. I don't know if there's any more. Uh, but he's back to three TCs as well. So the pump is going to stay real now. And there we go. The good old warrior monk gets his buff up. Which is just really, especially helpful against these longbowmen, because it gives them 
it gives them 50% more ranged armor. So it makes them twice as resilient against these ranged boys. Dude, those veteran longbows are actually insane. Like, they keep one shot in these man arms. Yeah, Nine attack. Pretty good work here. Okay, the numbers have been thinned out now, though, so. You know, Divine will have to put some extra effort into pumping out more. But so far, the comeback might actually be real. Like, he's got a lot of troops. Simpson has been staying around 160 population for a long time now. But at the same time, he's got crossbows, so that's a little bit spooky for the Knights. That said, yeah, the numbers but... are getting thinned out. Yeah, the problem is they're not going to perform well against the veteran Longwoman. Yes. I understand the crossbows versus the Knights. But um, it's one of those situations, we saw it earlier today as well, where we just saw Crossbowman for some reason against a no-gold Abbasid player, which confused us mightily. Didn't wow. matter in the end. Okay, there are some roots and archers coming out as well, but that was an expensive cleanup here, so nicely done by Divine. Wait, are you telling me that Symptom is not getting like level 2? There, this Veg Rivets is coming in a little bit too late. I don't like that he committed to the fight before that finish. That's kind of an anti-timing in that sense. Uh, you want that to align with your with your movements. Also, the other side... Side build is not doing anything right now. Divine is just going to yeah. react with more and more walls to this. Symptom is upgrading Knights, but he has none on the field. But Knights would be a nice counter to everything Divine does have. So you could do Knights versus Knights and into the Longbowman, which would help a lot. A nice Mango now hit indeed. Unfortunately, it's been taken down. There is one more in the back, so maybe if that can move up over time. But there are also oh, many Knights here to he's... take it out. Symptom is still trickling into the front there. Like, he's just losing one unit after another for no value. Oh, and you really don't want to make these extra defensive castles, right? That's just not, not the place you want to be. Yeah. It's a lot of, lot of cash for not much utility. Oh, so many siege weapons going down. Like, they're not cheap. That's 600 gold per man. Oh, well, that's like 600 hat. resources. The kill to death is 140 to barely 80 in favor Oof. of Divine. That is how good longbows are. Well, it's that. It's just Symptom has, like, made some odd decisions, like... Especially, like, the engagement timings, like, he had, like, so many crossbows out when all the knights were already dead. And then he didn't re he committed into the longbows with not enough numbers. Just awkward, awkward engagements. Yeah. Really nicely done by Divine. Also, look at these men arms now. Now that they have that plus two to ranged armor, suddenly they can actually what take it. What the hell is it. wrong with these longbowmen? Why are they shooting so fast? They're not under effect of the castle. That was strange. Is that just what they do? I think that's just what they do. Yeah, I don't saying. know. It, it looked weird. It might just... Because they were all firing at a different time. Well, you have successfully summoned the castle, however. It's coming in. Let's go. Looks like Divine is definitely looking to head to the finals. This aggressive castle is going to cost... Uh, Simpson certainly a lot more than he can afford to lose. Trying to take it out with the archers, not gonna happen. In fact, um, even with these reinforcements, the castle won't be dislodged. Although he beat the army nicely. Yeah, uh, he's trying to clear off these villagers, but there's just too many of them. That castle will go up. Is it that is. A not necessarily covering anything oh. super important, but it's definitely going to be a thorn in, uh, in Symptom's eye. Yeah, well, here's the good news, Matt Hat. Our English player is running out of gold. Only oh. 1,800 left over here. Symptom is eating up all the gold mines that are on the edges. So, uh, like I said, the sneaky play, this walling off the, the corners, uh, blocking gold, these are the key skills of an Age of Mythology player, and we might see some more Mad Arms from the side now. Yeah, he's pumping him. Uh, I just don't know where they're gonna rally, so let's see that. Okay, he's he's rallying them for the attack, so a backstab right now would be actually really sick, especially if you can pair ramps with that. 
Yeah. I mean, basically, at this point, the vine needs to age up and get the technic technician technology for the farms to give him gold because he does have a lot of them. I think it's called embrasures or something. No, some enclosures, I think. Something along those lines. All right, let's. Because if yeah, if, I think the vine can stabilize. It's like that keep is not a game-ending keep. It's not, as I said, it's not cutting off anything super critical. I guess the wood line, but we've established symptom is just all over the map. Yes. So he's got plenty of wood to choose. Yeah, he's currently in the middle here, so he's got like a yeah, wooden I, fortress I, to boost it up. Very at nice. the moment, just the vine is doing a lot better in terms of getting his units on the right targets. So the value trade is still in his favor. But the eco eco game is just pretty pretty good class here by by symptom. It's lovely. Uh, this is what we call a game. Symptom has 141 villagers. I wish I was kidding. What is happening oh, in Jesus this Christ. video game right now? My God. <laughs> As I said, he, he he's a boomer at heart. Yes. Divine only on 106. It does allow him to get a big army. Can't actually afford to make said army. And the castle actually is going down. Oh, the villagers. Are they going to get in range? No. Happy of the Trinity is in danger, though. We finally have knights. It's going to be one extra armor in terms of range. and a whole lot more hit points than... Uh, measly men at arms will offer, so can potentially take on the longbows now. How are we doing for the army though with, with Divine here? Uh, let's see. So we got at least 10 longbows and more on the way. Knights are around 12, 13 ish. We've got 12 longbows and 11 knights for him. Very good. I really need to set my all units, Salski. I don't think I have it at the moment. Control A is not doing it for you? Uh, oh, I do have the defaults because I reinstalled Windows. Thank you. I unbind it go. when I play, so. <laughs> I don't want to rely on it, so. Yeah, Symptom yeah. actually has like double the military of Divine, but Divine is just making so much better use of it. I think like, like is he? Yeah, okay. He's got like some of the, some of his guys are training the Palisades on the Far East. Well. Where there was a palisade, there will be now two. And so on no. and so forth, it is the way. Okay, Symptom is banking gold. We might see an age up. Once he can afford a little bit more food. It's all about pumping those units out. He might actually have this man attack. There's going to be a defensive keep to slow everything down, but you can just hit elsewhere. Push is looking really nice. There is going to be a triple counter rate trebuchet. Is that going to be enough though? I think these longbows can just handle uh, the crossbows easily enough to get over to knights. Yeah, it's another pretty bad engagement here by Symptom. Sends in the knights too early. The oh crossbows God. are oh going to assist. Oh, the mangonels. Can they do anything? Actually, the crossbows have protected the siege. I think I'm slightly behind, but looks like you're right. Well, Mangonel did go down. Okay, not bad, but oh, don't lose all the crossbowmen to the tech. Keep! Oh, uh, you're definitely uh, behind. In the oh, wow, the reinforcing crossbows. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that is pretty savage. It looks like Divine is kind of doing better with the trades, but now that he's going to lose the castle, I'm not sure that's going to be the case anymore. Uh, looks like Simtom can just keep flooding at this point. He's getting even more trebuchets. Yeah. What is going on? That's the power of 140 vi 40 villages. He's going to max it's out. Like Divine's, the value trade doesn't stop for Divine, but Simtom just... Playing in true Russian fashion, he's just throwing more men at the problem than his enemies as arrows. Also, quadruple trebuchet. Almost one-shotting every building here. They are one-shotting every building. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Oh, 
And looks like the, the, the revenge keep is trying to be assembled. Oh yeah, they're at it. So that's seven villagers trying to build it up. The knights are distracting in the meantime. Should also, work we, out we gotta fine. pay attention. In, in the back, the man at arms has finally made it through the breaches. They broke it through. Have... It took them so long that the response is a cleanup, but it has to have to be a response. Dude, those villagers, villagers are also... so sad. They're gonna be so also... sad. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> 8,000 8, gold has been swept up by Simtom. That's just brutal. Oh, Divine is losing a lot of villagers on the front line. Where the, the other keep went up. I'm not even sure what they're doing there. Oh uh, my god. He's bringing the, up sorry, one Divine more. is bleeding villagers. Yeah, he's giga He is at 98 in. villagers. That's worse than 137 though. Also, by the way, uh, Symptoms casually floating 3,000 gold and 1,500 stone. I mean, it makes sense. He has four relics and uh, two sacred sites. And yeah, I feel like he should invest a little bit in more food, Ooh. some farms or so, so he can eye drop eventually. He made it, Matt Hat. That's a victory. Divine is Ooh. going to resign and Symptom is going... Uh, to the finals, Divine is going to have to be satisfied today with a bronze match result, uh, whatever that is going to be. But good luck to him, and thanks G -G, for playing. Well played. Yeah, Simsom, we'll see you in the finals. Age of Mythology represent. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.